what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and a few days ago i had a couple of you guys ask me which character am i currently using to complete phase 19 against black dwarf and world boss ultimate in under 100 seconds so i wanted to show you guys my fastest clear time right here and the character that i'm actually going to be using is cable with she hulk's lead and phil colson for that tier 2 passive and my strongest strikers and my fastest clear time so far using this setup right here has actually been 65 seconds being extremely aggressive so hopefully i can top that right here since my cable is still not completed i'm sure some of you guys can get this thing done in probably 45 if not 30 seconds now i'm gonna evade some of these attacks right here at the beginning of the fight just because this guy is really annoying and after that all you gotta do is use the same abx rotation and just light up your damage proc on your fifth skill and in between using the 4 3 2 5 rotation you just want to try and dodge some of the bloody twisters that spawn in here obviously you want to dodge that attack if you're not in your invincibility but the most important thing in here for me at the very least is making sure that you dodge those twisters or make sure that whenever the twisters pop out you're inside your invincibility because they're gonna freaking stun you bleed you and kill you i never try to break this shield instead i just stay at the edge of the map and just dodge it and then go right back to business however sometimes that's gonna happen and this bastard will actually run through you and cut your dps and this is gonna make it so that this is gonna take a lot longer than i would want it so this is definitely not going to be my best run ever here because he actually evaded one of my freaking ooh, he actually evaded one of my attacks there so that's actually pretty annoying i'm not gonna try and dodge this because i'm in my invincibility and that attack doesn't penetrate however when he's this low his purple attack that he actually fires off here will actually penetrate you but as you guys can see we managed to freaking get it done in what is this 74 seconds okay 74 seconds which is really really good oh we got a booty box nice i can't get any more books because i'm actually capped on books for every single class so now the debate for me is actually which character i'm going to tier three and let's get out of here and i'll see what's inside this booty box hopefully we get something good it's only a green i'm not really expecting oh that's actually not bad cosmic cube fragments i'll actually take that every single time that's actually pretty good let me see what's in this shiny box right here dimension debris that sucks anyways let's actually get out of here and i'll show you the build for this guy and that's for the build on my cable guys this is what it currently looks like as you can see 118 for attack speed 54 percent for critical rate 194 for critical damage 42 percent for ignore defense and 50 percent for reduced cooldown duration as for his urus they still need a whole lot of work as you guys can see right here only the first slot actually has four amplified urus the other three actually have two energy attack and everything else is just a dud that i need to replace eventually skills are all at six iso said it's power of angry hulk and that is fully awakened and i have a ctp of energy for him i see a lot of you guys asking about my car cards recently and this is what my cards currently look like surprise surprise if you guys are new to the channel you guys may be thinking what the hell why is this guy's card set so bad and my cards are actually pretty good for me i do own premium cards in here i think i have two or three and these are all free to play friendly premium cards this one you get from ranking up loki's uniform for ragnarok this one you get for ranking up thor's uniform from ragnarok this one you get from the black panther pack and that's about the only premium cards i have i have a whole bunch of other cards here that i'm gonna work on re-rolling eventually and eventually i'm gonna incorporate these two comic cards into my set but for me it just takes a whole lot of planning for me to mess with my comic cards for the bonuses this is what they look like for those of you guys who haven't seen them before i actually have a good amount of the collections completed because that's been a little bit of a passion for me i'm a collector so i'm trying to get all of the free to play friendly comic card set done okay i'm not gonna buy any comic cards just to complete the sets but the ones that can be farmed that's what i'm gonna do in the meantime between time while i'm working on re-rolling some cards but that is all i have for this one guys like always thank you so much for watching hope it was informative and for those of you guys who are new to the channel who are constantly asking about my cards this is what it looked like i don't show them very often because nothing has changed i have a playlist where whenever i change my comic card set i'll actually update that playlist and show you guys what my cards currently look like okay so yeah that's it for this one guys thanks for watching peace out